It's the holiday season, so your first place Boston Bruins are out doing their annual toy shopping trip for kids who are in the hospital and unable to celebrate at home. Sorry boys, nobody, there's no blankets left. <laughs> Get here early. That's right, I'm a veteran uh, shopper now. I know where to go first before y'all get stolen. You can get the Bruins hat. It's a big win. Big win on Christmas for any kid. Got this one here from Marshy. And um, that's about it. That's a good card game for a uh, team. I see uh, Paul Truss and Beecher struggling. Looking in this paper. Rookie. We need some more items for the girls. They don't like Nerf guns, do they? Reminds you of being a kid. I spent a lot of time in these toy aisles at Walmart when I was growing up because my mom uh, took forever to shop. So she would just send me over to the toy aisle with 20 bucks every now and again, and I would sit over there and try and budget and try and figure it out. So this was uh, this was good. I think I got a little too much stuff, but kind of hurt. I nailed it. Another year. Until next year. Merry Christmas. Over at Warrior Ice Arena, a familiar face is back in the house. The newly retired Patrice Bergeron has come by to catch up with the guys and grab some gear for his next game. So I'm playing, I'm playing the alumni game Saturday for against the Seals. And yesterday I was on the ice with Zach's team. And I'm like, I should probably look like you're still sick. I went like legit the fuck was crying. I was like, please leave me alone. But it was like going <laughs> like this and I lost something. Like, oh <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I wanted to do that. He's actually using this one as a preseason game. <laughs> and I'm showing up next Monday with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, see you, Berg. Berg, you gotta get a free game skated. Hey, you got a game tonight. You gotta get a free game skated. Yeah, I know, I know. Big game. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? How are you? Good. Tuned up? Big game Saturday. Here. Here. So, here. I'm like, I gotta grab some sticks. Oh, I don't have one at home. I needed a stick. Three sticks? I've been begging for a stick for years. You lost your opportunity, Kels. I gave you a new one, you didn't take it. Kels, see you Saturday, man. It's a hockey night in Canada showdown for the Bruins in regular season game number 23, as Jake DeBrusque and the boys travel to Toronto and take on the Maple Leafs. So much Come on, JD, come on, baby, make some Plays here, kid. I'm just gonna say, keep talking to me. Yeah. Hey. Going out the way. Old strategy by Toronto here. Eh? Update. We usually play this at home. Get the puck! Trent Frederick's clutch third period goal puts the Bruins ahead. But on a wild night in Toronto, this game is far from over. In Toronto, a late goal from Austin Matthews ties the game up and sends it to overtime. But when the going gets tough for Brad Marchand and the Bees, the captain comes through with an assist from above.
Good job, boys. Alright, bud? Unreal, Mark. Love you, Mark. Boys, this one's special. Uh, not many guys know, but my grandmother passed away last night. And, uh, unexpected, she's very healthy. She had an uh, aneurysm. And, uh, so, this one means a lot. Thank you. One thing you can count on when you're at Boston Bruin, your team will always have your back. Extra excitement inside Warrior Ice Arena today as the Bruins alumni take on a team of former Navy SEALs because number 37, Patrice Bergeron, will be back on the ice for his first game since retiring. Hey, How you sorry, doing, buddy? Easy on him, <laughs> I don't know. It might need to go easy on me. <laughs> yeah, first game. Yeah. Have you been skating? I, I haven't skated since... Uh, like the last game of the season, but then I go on the ice and help out with uh, my son's team. Oh, yeah? So I kind of go on as a just stand, stand around. Keep you on the ice. Yeah, yeah. And finally, the rookie playing his first game of the Boston Bruins alumni 19 seasons in the NHL, former captain, six time Selkie Award winner, Stanley Cup champion, next stop, Hall of Fame. Say hello to Bergy, number 37. That's 1,294 games in the NHL for Patrice, and now one in the books for the Bruins alumni. Meanwhile, his former teammates are facing the Blue Jackets for their second game in two nights. And New England Patriots linebacker Matt Judon is stopping by to help out. Hey, now this jersey fine. I like this. I'll wear this out, man. I like it, man. Yeah, y'all got to put on for the city. Uh, we lost today, so. Do you like the fighting in hockey? I love the fighting, but I'm wondering like how they practice, or it's just like you know how some guys tackle real well. Some guys like how come you didn't tackle that guy? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Guys don't know how to punch, okay. and they want to go in there, or they don't. <laughs> you find out pretty quick who wants to. Do y'all be fighting in practice? No, they used to. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> used to be fights a lot in practice. I'm gonna give this steering motivational speech. And then uh, <laughs> introduce you, and you take over. Take over from where? Inspirational oh, okay. speech, and then you tell them who the starters are. I gotta tell them they don't know. They don't know. But it, hey, this hockey stuff is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I just say up front, we got JD, Pav, and Pasta yep. on D, Grizzly, and Mac. Yep. And then go Bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah, Bulldog. Oh, yeah. Easy. I don't even gotta say they number. <laughs> oh yeah. I, was, I thought y'all was gonna make me pronounce it their names. And I, was like, up. I know you guys are fed up of hearing me, so I'm gonna turn it over to Matt Judon, star of the Pats. Good, good start. Up front, we got JD, Pav, and Pasta on D. We got Grizz and Matt, and then go. We got Bulldog. <laughs> Get here for a good time. Let's go. <laughs> Me. Yeah, let's stay on it. Stay on it. Hey. The Bruins are facing the Blue Jackets tonight. Charlie Coyle and the boys are frustrated through the first two periods. But down by one in the third, the captain steps up for his team once again. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, what a play! Danger. 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 Oh, I know. Nice play, I know. Finish, Marsh. Oh, yeah. Nice 
play. Come on, Marsh. Ah! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Nice play, Chuck. Three goals in less than six minutes gives Brad Marsh on the natural hat trick and delivers a win over Columbus for Boston. Game, huh? I wish I wish I had a red nose. Maybe I should actually, you know what? Should we try finding a red a red Sharpie? You were Barbie too, right? I was Barbie, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's get exposed. Barbie, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Buying gifts for kids at local hospitals was just the first step for the Bruins players. The next is to deliver the toys along with some holiday spirit in person. Uh, hey everyone, this is Tom. <laughs> Happy holidays. Yeah. You too, how are you? Hey you like the Christmas tree, I know. It's gonna grow on you. Oh Even taller elf. Whoa. Oh, oh, it just keeps growing in size. Whoa, that happened. And more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants it, Chris. Do you wanna put it on? No, no, no. <laughs> I was wrong. It. There he is. Oh, he's got his, he's got his leg oh, up and the ibuprofen. Oh man, some ice and stim. That's gonna be it. Oh, that's all right. He'll be okay. Just give him four to six. Us elves, He'll be all right. Us elves stick together. Yeah, that we do. We appreciate you taking care of one of our elves for us. Yeah. Thank you. You're one of us now. You got a Bergie jersey? What? Yeah, your old captain. Bergie. Yeah, he was my favorite too. <laughs> nah, good choice. Still hoping he might come back. Your favorite movie's Elf? Or Home Alone? Yeah, we got a lot of Home Alones today, but Elf has been up there. Yeah, it's mine too, obviously. If you can't tell. Yeah. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you soon. See you, buddy. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna go look for my dad. Yeah. With Jeremy Swayman unexpectedly out sick today. The Bruins have come up with the perfect last-minute goaltender to fill in at morning practice. What's up, brother? Aren't you fired yeah, up, huh? So fired up. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. Anything for Golden Bob. Thanks for coming out, man. Of course. Appreciate it. Anything for Golden Bob. Your pads are still ready to rock. We got a little save you made back like three years ago. This is gonna be fun. I might actually score one. Yeah. It only take me eight years. Rip a couple of slap shots. Yeah, ice burners. I know you're not going down. If I stonewall you, yeah, you'll never hear the end of it. That's right. <laughs> How lucky must all these fans feel like? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said them, I said them. That is a Hall of Fame E-Bug. E-Bug stands for Emergency Backup Goalie, which is a reserve non-professional goalie every NHL team is required to have on hand at games. Today's E-Bug just happens to have the most wins in Boston Bruins history. Oh, yes. Oh, it's like riding a bike, bud. <laughs> We might reinvigorate your love of the game here this morning. I know. Hey? I might have to go, go to Finland and start playing some like, second division. Over there. <laughs> oh, Brando. You got that. Did you get that? Yeah. There it is. Eight, eight years. Eight years it took him. But he finally found a hole. He's running out of gas in there. He must be taking too many carts. Not walking enough 18s. Oh. Next shot ends it down here then. Oh no, Slim! Slim says, screw that, play on. So yeah, you can, uh, uh, you can still play. Still got it, still got it. Out on Long Island, the Bruins find themselves down 3-2 in a back-and-forth game with the Islanders. What a save. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, baby! 
Hey, it's him. Hey, it's him. Mason Lowry's late third period goal ties the game up, while Linus Olmark makes a number of huge saves to send this one into overtime and ultimately the shootout. What's up, boys? Are you kidding me, Dougie? Yeah! What a game. What a game. What a game. Holy Let's go. Yeah, boys, that's a hell of a win. Win the battle, boys. Win the battle, boys. Win the battle, boys. Win the battle, boys. Win that's the biggest win of the year. Okay, we didn't have our A game. We weren't playing. We weren't executing. Okay, but we stuck with it, and you battled your balls off for each other. That third period, we got to carry in. That's Bruins hockey. Never say die. Stick together, no matter what's going on. Great job. Big win, guys. Uh, I got to find ways to win this league. Could have went to a couple guys. Spooner, I thought you played a hell of a game, but I don't think we uh, we come back with those big saves. Yeah. Boys, like you said, it's a Halloween, biggest month for the, uh, for the year, but there's a game tomorrow, let's go get that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs>The next evening back in Boston, it's the third of the Bruins Centennial Era Nights. This one honoring the teams from 1975 to 1986, the famed Lunch Pail Athletic Club, featuring some of the toughest customers to ever wear black and gold. It's also an opportunity for Linus Allmark to show off another customized goalie mask celebrating this piece of Bruins history as they take on the Rangers tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lunch Pill AC Night as part of the Bruins Centennial Celebration. Fittingly starting the evening in the penalty box are four memorable characters from those years. Keith Crowder, Stan Jonathan, John Wensink and Mike Milbury, who also coached the Bruins for two seasons. <laughs> That's funny. Please welcome the mighty John Wensink. This <laughs> <laughs> is fondly remembered as the Bruin who once went after a man with his own shoe. With only 1,500 penalty minutes in his playing career. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 26, Mike Milbury. Welcome number 16, Rick Middleton, and number 24, Terry O'Reilly. I saw you start to come out there at 540 goal seasons. <laughs> See my shoe? See my shoe? <laughs> Some things they don't let you forget, eh? Oh, that's for sure. This one. Two other important players from that era are also present tonight. The legendary Ray Bork, as well as Norman Levy, whose promising career was cut short by a brain aneurysm during a game in 1982. He survived and made an emotional return at the Boston Garden's last hurrah. What a shame, huh? What a shame. He is playing incredibly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lunch Pill AC Boston Bruins. Throughout the Bruins centennial year, this team has shown their strength, their skill, and their unwavering commitment to each other. However, as winter deepens and the calendar turns, the challenges only get more difficult.
Once again, the black and gold are one of the top teams in the NHL, and once again, the expectations are high. But this group knows what lies ahead. They know what's coming, and they stand ready to face it together.